this is honestly one of the most incredible things I've seen. So we re reposition very quickly and you can see that there's a massive Balanites tree here, the torchwood. And one of the little elephants trumpeted at me and I thought that it was possibly because... Oh, it's okay guys. Sorry, I'm just watching them. They're very excited. So anyways, what happened is they must have communicated in such a way it was very quiet and they came charging towards us. Craig and I panicked because I thought that it was maybe mom coming to reprimand us for upsetting her little calf and the little calf was just actually having throwing a tantrum but they're running over to look for the balanites fruit do you see look at them trunks on the ground they're pushing over all the trees or lifting all the trees up trying to pick the fruit up off of the ground it is so cool i've never seen them run like that before and that communication that they did was completely silent craig and i could not hear it at all so I, that's amazing, the infrasound. And of course, that's how elephants do communicate, is through infrasounds. We can hear trumpeting. We can hear, obviously, whining of elephant. We can hear the low rumblings, which almost feels like you can feel them through your feet. But the rest of their communication, we can't hear at all. It's just too low for, for our ears to pick up. But I've, I honestly have never experienced that. I can't describe to you how they ran here. Now, Donald, you're wondering if elephants' feet are like horses' hooves. They're slightly different. So, so obviously a horse has only got one toe, like a zebra does, um, whereas an elephant has got a few more. Um, so their feet are much, much more different. They don't have that hard, like, hoof structure. I think their foot is slightly softer. They've got toe nails. And then, of course, the skin around the feet. We're being surrounded by these elephants now, but they seem fairly relaxed with us. I promise you, though, my heart sank to the floor because I thought, oh, my goodness, we're going to get charged. Look here, Craig. Craig, look at this little one. Hello. Yes, little elephant. Two little elephants. You're standing with big brother or big sister. Who are you? Big sister, I think it is. Look at those terrible two there. Little naughty ones. Hello. Yeah, I know you're bigger and stronger than your friends. It's okay, I won't hurt them, girl. And we're just watching. So yeah, she just sort of sent them on their way. It's okay. That is honestly one of the most amazing things I have ever seen. And there's just a, an opportunity just to show you how I completely misread their behavior in the beginning because I couldn't hear them. I couldn't understand what they were doing. All I knew was a little elephant trumpeted because it was getting excited with a car. And the next minute, the rest of these Ellies came charging in. But it wasn't that Ellie that signaled them. I think the other cow must have said, hey guys, I found a gold mine of fruit here. There's not much fruit around in the bush at the moment and they all came running in. Really, I was ready to start the car and drive away. And then I went, wait, let's just see how this plays out very quickly, because they're not show any, showing any aggressive signs. They're just running full speed towards us. And there they all are. Look at them, look at the cows. A big girl over here, she's searching. I don't know if she got any, but the others most certainly did. I watched one of the little ones pick the fruit up. And she came over and she put her head up against the tree and she shook it to try and see if there were any more that were going to come off. But unfortunately, the Balanites tree is quite a strong tree. Not quite like the Marula, which when they put their heads against it and they, they push it, it normally shakes the fruit loose. That tree didn't even budge. That was really amazing. Hey guys, can you find some more? Yeah, you're gonna come over here, hello. Still desperately searching under that long grass. So beautiful. Now natural, a very interesting question, one that I think I'm going to struggle to answer, well I think anybody will struggle to answer, and that is can the elephants hear the trees talk? Can they hear them communicating? I'm not sure. I, I don't, actually, I don't know. You never know. I think nature is connected in so many different ways that we possibly don't even understand. But it would be amazing. Maybe it was the tree that told uh, the other elephants, but I don't think so. I think that it was the one cow that made her way through here first and was picking up all the fruits and then decided to say, hey, come and have a look what I've got. I've got something delicious for all of you to eat. Like searching, like this youngster here. See that, just moving its trunk through under the grass, under the bush willow, 
but having no luck unfortunately with finding the tasty fruit from the balanites tree or the torchwood tree we're going to see if we can keep up with these ellies they are going down into a drainage so this might be our last view i'm going to send you across now to ellie who has found herself a herd of kudu